Coach Greg Wyatt joins us on the telephone. His Seagull Stars look strong, and they crushed a Franklin County team, a Franklin team, not Franklin County, a Franklin team tonight, 53-7. to Coach, was it that easy, or did the kids just play extremely well, or both? Um, I, I think our kids played extremely well. Um, you know, I was pretty proud of them uh, as, as, as far as uh, their effort tonight. I don't think uh, – you know, I don't think any of our kids that ever got in uh, let up at all, and I think that's you know that's probably the thing I'm the most proud of. I, I was fortunate enough to watch the Jamboree last weekend, uh, last Friday night, and and the consensus in the press box was that Siegel was a, was the most impressive team there uh, last Friday night. Uh, reading, I've got a few followers on Twitter of some of your kids. Uh, Right now, it seems like, this is just from the outside looking in, it seems like you guys have got some s- special chemistry working on that Seagull Stars team. Talk about that. Yeah, we've got 31 seniors, um, and, th- you know, they're 31 very, very, our kid, they're 31 kids with great character, and I think that, that has a lot to do with it more than anything in the world. Um, they, they, they enjoy being around each other. Uh, they hang out outside of school with each other. Um, you know, there, there's a lot to be said when you've got 31 guys that have played four years of high school football and two more years of middle school football coming together their senior year. And, and uh, you know, there's, there's, there should be some chemistry there. Uh, coach, Talking to Coach Greg Wyant, uh, the head coach of the Seagull Stars. Uh, Greg, this is your third season at Seagull or fourth season as head coach? This is my, this is my third year as a head coach. And uh, each year you, you've seen more and more improvement and, and uh, I almost I, I, I got to ask this question: Do you feel a little bit of pressure right now with the expectations so high? Yeah, I think so. I think uh, th- th- there are there is some expectations here, but I don't think it's anything from the outside. I think we put more expectations on ourselves and on this football team than anybody can can ever think of putting it from outside in. Um, our kids uh, feel the pressure to to, to perform. They feel like it's you know it's their time. Um, you know the bar got set pretty high last year with the last year's group. Um, so I, I feel like uh, you know these these guys. Uh, you know uh, I think you know one of their mottos is to, to not be satisfied. So uh, you know the pressure I think is more inside than from from outside. Coach Greg Wine joins us on the telephone. Uh, uh, Greg. Uh, I know you've got a you've you've probably already thought ahead a little bit. Who you got next week? Lincoln County, right? Yeah, we've got Lincoln County at home next week. <laughs> Have you done any advanced scouting on them? They they took a kind of a beating from Giles County tonight. What was the score, Dennis? Uh, I think it was thirty-five to nothing. Let me double check. I I, I should have looked that up before I even opened my mouth. Right, right? Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, thirty-five to nothing. I haven't even looked at them, Dennis. I've been we've been worried about this game. You know, we're, uh, you know, I guess coach speak, you can say it's real easy. I mean, you just got to go one week at a time, and that's what we're trying to do with the kids. And they really need to, you know, I think that's the, that's our mental focus with our kids is try to keep them focused on on one football game at a time right now. All right, safe travel home. Uh, I, hey, get... I got a buddy of mine that that that, uh, that went to high school with you, and I think that he told me to call you Disco. Is that right? <laughs> you you got to be careful who you listen to, Greg. <laughs> I got you, man. <laughs> <laughs> just just uh, hey, remember now, Brooke is probably still on her way back from from West Tennessee, so don't get in trouble. Don't don't uh, make her I'm come not... home and and tan you hide. I don't think I'd get in too much trouble with Buffalo Wild Wings. So. All right, buddy. <laughs> Greg, we appreciate it. Enjoy tonight. I will talk to you. Uh, I'll talk to you next week. Thank you, Disco. I appreciate it, buddy. Have a good night. <laughs> you too. You know, you you passed. You never. You, no matter how hard you run and how fast you run, you can never outrun your pass. We need to. We need to run to the scoreboard. So uh, the Haddon Motors scoreboard. It's available on our website at FridayNightThunder.com.